finish switching cars. Uh -huh. So the guy came back and he said, oh, you want to see our new caboose? So he took Rachel and I into the new caboose. And you know, they have a little uh, cupola type thing on top of the car that has windows all the way around. Okay. Well, to get to the cupola, you have to climb up a little ladder. Yeah. And it has a seat, pretty yeah. good seat there. Yeah. On both sides of it so that you can look to the rear or you can look to the front. Oh, okay. It also has a telephone, a wireless telephone that you can talk to the engineer. Oh. So he picks up the wireless and he says, Manny? <laughs> and <coughs> that name sounded familiar. Uh -huh. Oh, it was that guy. Yeah, and this guy was the same guy I rode with when they switched cars when I was a kid. Mm. Same guy. The That's same amazing. guy. He had been working for that railroad for damn near 50 years. Yeah, because you were, what, seven or... And this is the only railroad that he ran on. <laughs> All that time. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. And he retired that year. Wow. But he said, Rachel, do you want to ride on the train? And she said yes, and he said, uh, "Well, you stay on the you stay on the caboose with uh, and I don't remember the conductor's name with the guy, and we will take you to the next crossing, and we will stop and let you off, and your dad can ride the motorcycle out there and pick you up." Aww. So <laughs> that's what we did. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was really, that was thrilling. Because you could see her on the train, too. Yeah, I could see her on the train. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sweetest uh, little story. I, yeah. 